Blind guy dating five girls based on their outfits. These are always very cringe and very fun. I love them. Let's Have watch. Have you ghosted in your lifetime? Probably too many to count. <laughs> too many to count. Yeah, but I might not ghost you. Might not ghost me. Uh, I've seen a Korean version of these. It just hit me. And it was super surprising. The results. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I'm in. Come on, Garrett. So my name... Garrett forgot to put on a t-shirt underneath his shirt. Who do you think you are, Garrett? You're not that guy, Garrett. Listen here, Garrett. Put on a fucking shirt. Or you're just gonna sweat down that shirt. That's gross. You're gross. You're a sweaty boy. Name is Garrett Brown. I graduated college a couple years ago. What up? My name is Garrett Brown. I'm too cool to wear a t-shirt. And I'm- Shut up, Garrett! I might have been projecting a little bit onto Garrett. I apologize. There was a guy at my high school never wearing t-shirts. I didn't like him. I apologize, Garrett. It's not your fault. Currently working on an app to help out some charities. I do value women who can dress, you know, not up to standards, but as long as they're comfortable with what they're wearing and they feel good what they're wearing, that's all. I never met a guy that cares what a woman wears <laughs> in my entire life. <laughs> I never heard a guy say, hey, have you seen what that girl is wearing? <laughs> Oh, actually, I do all the time. Women in, in UK, oh my god, what is wrong with women in this country? I live in a hellhole. No one understands that they do. <laughs> How do I formulate what I'm trying to say? It's so fucking windy in Brighton, okay? It's windy and it's cold all the time. But God bless the women here in this country because they don't seem to give a shit. They'll still walk out in skirt and t-shirt like it's nobody's business. Anytime I'm driving down the seafront and... The wind is just like gushing everyone. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have a wide variety of some personalities here. I'm liking what I see a lot. You guys are setting me up very well right now on some blind dates. Man, is everyone wearing sneakers? I didn't realize girls wear sneakers so much. What's your name? My name is Liz. Liz, nice to, meet, nice to meet you. I'm Garrett. Are we wearing this as an everyday shoe or is this a dress up shoe? Yeah, this is an everyday shoe. I'd probably wear this to work. Liz, you're on. That's going to be too complicated. You get a girl with complicated shoes, you get a girl with complicated life. Everyone knows this. Work or on a night out with the girls. See, he's what already thinking about it. What look like? How crazy are we getting? 10 tequila shots. 10 tequila minimum. shots. All right, so I'm getting blacked out, but hang out with her. So that's good to know. <laughs> it's okay, I'll take care of you. Oh, there we go. Music to my ear. What is this, uh, what is this beard line? He's like, I'll just make a cut here so people know where my haircut ends and my beard ends. <laughs> the fuck I've been... Dunks right. right there. Those... The left of me, those are dunks. These are Air Force are um, ones. All right, so do you consider? <laughs> These are Air Force. Uh, what? What? Uh, <laughs> yourself to be a fashionable person. I'm more of like a comfortable street style type of person. Okay, so you're active on Depop. No. No. <laughs> no. All right, so for <laughs> This is going great. Sit number three. There's the dunk girl. Yes. Dunk hello. girl. Do you have a name? I'm I like Jackie. their shoes. Those are nice so shoes. You must be a Depop girl. I never liked the Air Force ones. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez. The first two are at. I bet you they're really ugly. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Man, I'm just I'm just whiffing right now. Do I know anything? So, what do you consider your your style to be like? I'm more into. Why? <laughs> That's the dumbest question you could possibly ask. You're going to see their style. Ask about the personalities, right? <laughs> What's your style? That's the whole point that you get to see their style. Oh my god, like idiot. Like a Japanese Sorry. lifestyle called Wabi Sabi. Okay, and it's based. like embracing the imperfect. Ooh, that looks kind of ugly. I don't know. All right. Beautiful. I'm excited to learn a little bit more about that. Number four, you're hiding your shoes. Is that for a good reason or a bad reason? You know what? You know what? Let's not judge straight <laughs> off. This isn't the main part of the outfit, you know? Have to let go of Toronto. <gasps> what? What's wrong with the shoes? They look normal. Oh no. <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, idiot. Nice, nice to meet you. All right, well, I'm very sorry. Your outfit is awesome. Thank you. What are you, like 6'5? <laughs> Come on, six one. You're not 6'1. You're absolutely I'm six not 6'1. One. One. <laughs> ah, the devastation. Oh, God. <laughs> You're just short. <laughs> okay, see what happens when you see what happens? They turn on you. 
just like that, right? I'll tell you anything you want to hear, and I'll turn on you. All right. No, there's no way. Oh, that's hilarious. He only seemed generally disappointed by that first cut. I mean, damn, yeah. Except that she, he got absolutely roasted. You, your outfit is awesome. Thank you. What are you, like 6'5"? <laughs> We're the same height. What are you, like 6, 69 feet tall? You must be a giant or something. How are... How are <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, moving on to pants. I'm liking what I'm seeing. All right, I stand by what I said before. Left number one and number two, you're a out. A lot of streetwear. You're done. What the hell are those pants? What the hell are those pants? Why is pants the one item that we buy to be be worn? Out of all things, distress, right? Is it to show that we live some sort of hardcore lifestyle? Because me and Ken watched a video of a Toyota Hilux. People should really buy like really messed up cars then, right? <laughs> By the same logic, why don't you buy like the most fucked up car and be like, look, yeah, I, I'm hardcore. Huh? Does that make sense? I don't understand humanity, okay? I don't get it. Help me. Very oriented. Okay, so... No yeah. Nice. Number one. Man, don't you get... Yeah, number two, three and four, they're good. Number one and two, I, you gotta get rid of it. I'll turn you on your side so you won't throw up <laughs> after the night of drinking. You know, give you some soup. <laughs> some soup and you'll some turn soup. me on my side so I can throw up on the floor instead of the bed. <laughs> well, I'll put the trash can there so I don't have to clean it up. You can take it out. Moving on to number two. How many men have you ghosted in your lifetime? Probably too many to count. <laughs> too many to count. Yeah, but I might not ghost you. Might not ghost me. I like the whole charity He thing. looks a bit like Charlie oh, you're Pook. you me up too much now, all right? <laughs> Maybe just me. What does your relationship with your dad look like? My dad? Yeah. I'm a big daddy's girl. He's like my best friend. Big daddy's girl? Yeah. What's your relationship with your dad? <laughs> That's such a... Uh, I love these psychoanalytical psychoanal questions. <laughs> he seemed distracted, disinterested, distant, disappointed, and possibly distraught after Toronto cut. Poor dude. Yeah. Number three. I wasn't expecting those pants. They look very good. I like them. They Thank sit you. well. What, what kind of pants are those? They're corduroy. It, it's actually overalls. Oh, okay, so it's a one piece up top. Yes. Why do you think you're single right now? Just truly just... <laughs> What is your sexual drive? What is your libido? Did you experience any sexual trauma as a young adolescent? <laughs> I always say like I dress like elevated casual, like I want to look put together, but I want to look comfortable and like I could fit in in like any scene. And then where'd you say you were from? I'm from Kansas City. I'm, I'm getting, um, no, you know, Kansas City the pants are fine. Like, this. like when I go home now, I definitely get some like looks my like way, kind of mm -hmm. some disapproving ones sometimes. Based right, on what I get know, rid of one. unfortunately, number one scares me a little bit. The drinking, the she knows I'm going to be throwing up, so we're <laughs> drinking a lot. And I'm trying to get past that. You know, I'm trying to do well for myself. Yeah, good call. She's weird. Oh, hey. Hello, I'm Liz. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Kara, nice to meet you. I'm sorry we can't go out clubbing. It's and okay, you know. I'm your beer. Is she wearing those eyelashes? <laughs> or is those eyelashes wearing her? Jesus Christ. Thank you're you. You're very, very beautiful well. as well. Holy fucking Those are wings, dude. She could flap away with those. And I'm taking another L today here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bye. 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 He looks so depressed. He's still thinking about the first girl. He just can't believe he messed up that bad. <laughs> He's, he doesn't want to play right, anymore. There we go. See, now I'm starting to picture more what they look like. I get an actual understanding of their personality a little more. So number one now, what are your okay. red flags in men so I can make sure that I do not. They all look decently dressed, I would say. I am uh, not a fan of either. <laughs> I don't know. Fall into those. You have to be funny. I'm really sarcastic. Probably the middle I feel like one people is, take it is as the me best. Sometimes, so you have to get my humor. Will you make me cry on a date? Probably. What is all this weird question? What do you mean it will make me cry? Will you wipe my ass? I love toxic what is it? women. That's, that's my thing right there. So number two, the overall. All right, he knows. Yeah, thank you. I think it looks great. I love the brown. If you could pick one thing about your dream guy that matters the most to you, what would it be and why? Literally just like being open-minded and open to trying new things. What kind of things do you think you could introduce me to? New food, new music. I'm really into Indian food at the moment and like Mediterranean and Ethiopian food. 
Oh, right. No, you're out. Last one. You're out. You're out. Then I hurt my ankle. Would you be able to carry me to safety? Oh, yeah. Right. Fireman carry over the shoulder. Fireman carry. All right. So we got a stronger right there. <laughs> I'm with that. Oh, now he's got a pig? Uh, yeah, I guess I that makes sense. Oh, what else can you reveal? No. It's just so hard because I like all of them. They all have great outfits, and I've been 0 for 2 so far, so that just makes <laughs> me feel even better knowing that I'm going to mess it up again. So unfortunately, number two, the middle one, will be the first one that I'll be letting go today. I can't look okay. again. I can't do it again. I can't do it. Oh, hey. Yep, another He's like, oh, thank God you're ugly. Garrett. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm so sorry for letting you go. You look absolutely great. Hopefully Aww. in the future. Sweet. You can put me on to some more of that food yeah, and some music. Sure. All right. Thank you. Ugh. Ooh. Ugh. The last person I will be letting go is... Drum roll, please. Do you have any drums in here? <laughs> Unfortunately, number one, I will be letting number one <laughs> I got him. Today. Yeah, you should have gone sooner. Come on, are you kidding me? I'm so sorry. I love the bucket hat. You were hiding that under there. Come on now. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> if only I knew she had a bucket hat. This would have changed everything. Good luck in the future. Thanks. And I love bucket so toxic, hats. Right? I'll try. <laughs> I'm sweating doing this, man. This is heartbreaking. I don't want to do this. All right. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Garrett. Kaylee, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. It's finally nice to see you. Yes, you as well. I love the outfit. It looks Thank great. You. I love the change. You're like how I like to describe myself, like elevated casual. Like you got the YSL and you got some clean shoes, but you're still like super comfy looking. And like, you're, I know you're comfortable in what you're wearing, you know? Absolutely. All right, perfect. See yeah. That's true. He kind of picked the girl with the same style as him. Imagine if you said another L after the last one. When he eliminated all the simps for the Toronto girl, when he eliminated the first hottie, it even hurt me. I ain't even played. <laughs> Why would you eliminate? Those shoes were like the best shoes. She's like the only one not wearing fucking Nikes, right? Toronto. Oh, shit. What are you, like 6'5"? <laughs> yeah. Forgot about that. That's funny. This kind of made me feel like... Outfits really don't matter. Like, damn, they could have looked any way, right? It made no difference. <laughs> There's something about him that sucks, but I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Judging people for what they wear is probably one of the pillars of why society is fucked. We trust the wrong people because... What? Is this a thing? People judge what they're wearing? You do that when you're like a teenager. Not, a, not an adult. I'd be really curious to see the other way around this. How girls judge guys. I remember when I was younger, girls always told me like, Oh, I always look at the guy's shoes. And if they're really worn, that means he's a piece of shit. I, I don't know. I'm like, what? Girls look at my shoes? What? What? What, what, the, what does that mean? Anyway, if you want to look good every single time, check out PewDiePie merch. Just kidding, it's, uh, it's sold out. Ooh, actually, this is perfect. Now I can... Uh, we have a new epic drop for Tsuki Mischief Collection. Looking very nice. The feedback uh, on this has been great. Check it out. Link in the description. And see you next time. Bye.